All right, let's talk about pantry cooking. So back before I started doing what I'm doing right now, um, I would think of pantry cooking and I, it would remind me of things like boxed mac and cheese or like um, brownie mix from a package or a box of cake mix. And those things are great. I still keep those things um, in my storage for very specific things now. But when I think about pantry cooking now, that's not what comes to my mind. What comes to my mind is what specific ingredients do I have? What specific ingredients do I keep all the time that I can use to make something amazing for my family? Today I wanted to show you two of the things um, that we always keep all of the ingredients for because they can be used for these recipes or for tons and tons and tons of different things as well. And the two things that I wanted to show you how to make today are a basic chocolate sauce, which you can use to put over like ice cream or as a cake filling, um, or as we use it most of the time uh, to go in chocolate milk to make chocolate milk. Um, and then the second one is a basic caramel sauce that especially in the fall is great with apples as an apple dip, um, or you can put it in um, hot chocolate to have a caramel hot chocolate, or you can add it like to coffee. I wanted to show you guys how to make those two things with just some very basic ingredients that pretty much everyone keeps in their house all the time. And if they don't, you should maybe start because these are super basic things. <laughs> so the first thing that we're gonna use for this recipe is sugar, so this is just pure cane sugar. You can use just white, sugar this is just what I happen to have um, on hand so I am going to turn on my fire under a heavy bottomed saucepan now I have a copper pot um, but you can use just whatever kind of pot you have as long as it is big enough you want to make sure that it's big enough for this if you don't have a big pot it is inevitably going to boil over later so right now we are just going to take this and stir it and keep it stirred uh, and it's gonna start to melt and you'll see what that looks like here in a minute okay so I know this is starting to look kind of weird but <laughs> uh, the sugar is starting to clump together and it's starting to turn into this like brown kind of yeah. and you can start to see like it really melting on the bottom you want to keep stirring it um, as frustrating as that can be because <laughs> this is the point uh, when it is turning into um, caramel, it's caramelizing the sugar. Um, and so if you keep stirring it, eventually it's going to turn into this. So it's gonna turn into this. Um, as you can see, all of the clumps are almost gone. We have a couple of little holdouts right there. Um, but it's not too bad. And from here, I'm gonna turn my heat down just a touch. And then I'm gonna add in, carefully, a cup of butter. You can see that it is going to kind of bubble up some because that butter is colder than that sugar. I'm going to get that butter in there. Once you get all of that butter incorporated, you're going to take your whisk out and set a timer for one minute. Right after your timer has gone off, you're going to do what I think is like the coolest part. You're going to add one cup of heavy whipping cream slowly and it is going to violently <laughs> start to bubble up and let it boil for one more minute. All right, when your timer goes off, turn off your burner for the last time and then we're going to add in some vanilla, a couple teaspoons. A teaspoon of salt. I prefer coarse kosher or sea salt, but I have pink Himalayan that is pretty fine ground right now, so that's what we're gonna use. And then just give this one last stir, and that's it. Your caramel sauce is ready. All right, I have just rinsed off my dishes because I'm using them to make chocolate sauce now. <clears throat> so with no heat on in my pan, I just have uh, that's two cups of sugar. This one I just used granulated sugar because that's what I grabbed. And uh, we're gonna add to that one cup of cocoa powder. 
you can change this recipe um, just based on your own taste. So if you have like, if you like a sweeter chocolate, <laughs> whoops, if you like a sweeter chocolate or a darker chocolate or whatever, you're just going to change that. That looks about right. Um, based on what your family will like, what your family will eat. together. This one is even faster, even quicker than the caramel sauce. And this one I find actually has a lot more uses for us. Um, you can put it in coffee. We use it to make um, use it to make chocolate milk all the time. Just kind of whatever your family would use, like a Hershey's chocolate syrup for. This is what we use it for. All right, when you get all of that mixed up together, you're going to add in a cup of water. Turn on your heat. And get that a good blend. All right, once you can kind of start to see some bubbles going around, you want to set a timer for 30 seconds and let it go. All right, after your timer goes off, you're going to turn your heat off. Together, and that's it. You got your chocolate sauce. This will thicken as it cools in the refrigerator for sure. That's it. Homemade Hershey's. All right, guys, that's it. That's how I make homemade caramel sauce and chocolate sauce. Let me know what you guys think. In all, it probably took me about 20 minutes, maybe, and that included um, the cleanup in between and after for it. And so it really isn't a big time commitment and it really allows you to use pantry ingredients in a fun new way. This will be great on a hot chocolate bar this winter. Um, you can add them to coffee, you can add them on top of cake or ice cream, you can add them to apples, really anything that you would use a store-bought caramel sauce or chocolate sauce for, these are great. We use the chocolate sauce to make our chocolate milk um, and then also you can make chocolate milk and heat it up and have a really yummy hot chocolate as it gets colder this year. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Tell me what you guys would use these for. And as always guys, thanks for watching.